of you two, Liara. Show me. Oh! <laughs> okay! <laughs> It's Jessica and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. We are going to head into the Cerberus mission. But before I do, I do want to close up any last minute like conversations on the Normandy. Because uh, I see that I have to use the intercom over here. So I'm going to see if we can talk to any of the remaining squad members. And then we'll head over and deal with the Elusive Man. This is what I've been waiting for the longest time. <laughs> Trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. I'm scared she's going to hit on me away, again. Amanda. Please don't hit on me, ma'am. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Okay. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Uh-huh. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies and no longer... Dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes. Okay, well, the Geth are misunderstood, and you know, if those archives were public, how it would make the you know Corians look really bad. But if they were to see how they weren't really fighting back, they were only defending themselves, probably changed a lot of people's mind. What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Corians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense, just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? Well, let's see. The, the Geth have been upgraded thanks to my friend Legion, but also... I don't really know if they can do that anymore considering this is different and adding on top of that the geth were willingly going with the reapers because they had no choice it wasn't like they were hacked so the geth are extremely intelligent and they've put incredible thought into solving this problem they're not going to turn again i'd bet my life on it now here's a question from a batarian on omega commander shepherd if the mass relays can be destroyed Oh my god, how many questions did you say? 40? So did I miss anything? <laughs> Do you have any questions? No, nah, that's you fine. You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. I could use some good news. Aye aye, Commander. Thank you for not hitting on me, good grief. <laughs> don't need that right now. <laughs> Alright, can I call anybody else or is that it? I think that's it, right? Many are asking what I eat. They will never know. It is harder to be poisoned that way. Is it true you keep fish in your cabin, Commander? Not anymore. <laughs> but that's actually a pretty good point that Javik is just making. I know he's very paranoid and he doesn't realize that, like, you know, our crew is our friends. And I don't blame him for that. But, yeah, letting people know what he can and can't eat is probably the best idea he, he has right now. If you require meat... Please look elsewhere. Uh, no. Oh my god, somebody was telling me when I did the C the Citadel DLC, the party, um, if Shepard doesn't romance anybody, you could actually end up in bed with Jobin, <laughs> which I never thought could actually happen. <laughs> okay, toughest mission. Horizon. No fair, I hadn't joined up with you yet. Fine, the Dead Reaper then. Really? The husks just ran up to us. Have you ever noticed that I carry a sniper rifle? You're the one who likes things at short range. That's and true, you she likes a shotgun. to keep everything at a distance. Exactly. Wait, what? Creepiest thing we fought. <laughs> the Thorian. But wait, what did you mean? I didn't mean anything. I'm going with the Rachni. The Queen? But we didn't fight her uh, either time. No, the little ones. They look like spiders and they scuttle right toward you. I thought you liked it when things got up close and personal. <laughs> I guess it depends on who it is. Was that... Am I reading too much into it? Was Tally flirting with Garrus there? <laughs> like, I don't know if that was, like, a thing there. Hey. Here we go. Chrono Station. Oh my god. I'm, I'm actually really excited for this one. Shepard. The intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? What? What's wrong? Ready. Except for the Catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. It's done? Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. Oh, sh 
It is done. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. If we don't find the catalyst? What happens if Cerberus doesn't have the intel we need? Or they stop us from getting it? Then we lead the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. Yeah, they and have that AI. We have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. Uh, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I really think I'm ready to fight him. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. Wow, I, th I can't believe we're actually here. This man has caused me so much grief. I hate him. And I know it's mainly because he's probably indoctrinated, like Shepard said. Oh, Liara! I wondered where you were. Edie didn't tell you? She respects your privacy. Not like me. <laughs> what are you doing? I thought I heard the casing crack during that last fight. It must have disgraced me. Do you feel ready, Shepard? Oh my god, I don't know if if I'm like it's more so like working towards the end of all of this. I'm not ready for it to end. Like, I know there's still Mass Effect Andromeda and whatever Mass Effect game they're making next, but it's just I don't know. I, I, I've been playing this game for the past year. I, I've experienced so much joy playing this game. Honestly, I haven't felt like this much joy since I played Dragon Age because I'm such a huge fan of Dragon Age to begin with. And man, I really wish I played this back then, but I knew I was going to love Mass Effect the same way just because you can see how much care Bioware had when making all these storylines and all these characters and stuff so but as for Shepard herself I don't know if we're ready to face the end because we don't know what's gonna happen with the Reapers and how my choices are gonna affect her ending so I don't know you first huh. very fair what I want most is for this war to end while there's still a galaxy left to save and everyone's counting on you to do that for us it must be overwhelming. It is. I can... Oh, God. I, I could not take that pressure if I were Shepard. Because we've already... Like, the biggest failure was when Kai Lang stole the AI. And that hit Shepard really hard. I, I think that's the hardest she's ever felt failure. Because how many times will we be, like, f***ed up during the storyline? But th that one was, like, the major one. Because we were that close to finishing everything in the Reapers. And to think that... If this happens again, it's going to be all our fault. We, we're going to be to blame. Like, every single time something has happened, Shepard is always taking the blame for that. So, I don't think she is ready for what's to come. How do you get ready for something like this? You cajole and threaten and make tremendous sacrifices until the galaxy realizes it has someone worth following. You think so? There's no doubt in my mind. Oh. <laughs> it would be easy for a single ship to get lost up there, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would. Oh, look find at some place very far away where you could spend the rest of your life in peace and happiness. The way that Liara was looking at Shepard, that was really cute. I really wish we could just take a ship and just fly out of here with Liara and never look back. But that's not neither one they want. It's just like wishful thinking, which makes me sad! Right now, there's no place I'd rather be. Neither would I. She loves Shepard, honestly. I love you, Shepard. Oh, I'm gonna cry! <laughs> My eyes are watering, don't! Liara! That's so cute. Like, you can tell how much Liara has 
cared for Shepard. Regardless if you're romancing her or not, like there's there's definitely like a bond between Shepard and Liara since Mass Effect 1. She's cared about Shepard so much, but of course my Shepard loves her. I love you too, Liara. Show me. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my god, my eyes are watering. I don't want to cry. Oh, oh my god. We get it. We get it. Oh. Uh. We're getting the boobas. <laughs> I mean, they're they're about to die. Fuck it. Literally. <laughs> you know what I mean? Damn, this is so like... Detailed Bioware! Jesus! <laughs> oh no, her nightmare. Who's here this time? Shepard hasn't had this nightmare in a while. Was that Caden? Shepard. Morden. be burning to death soon. I don't know. <laughs> it's like kind of like reap what you sow kind of thing. I don't know. Or her fear of like <sighs> she's gonna die with them. You can't sleep? <sighs> We're almost there. Already. I hope everyone is ready. You don't need to worry about that. You rallied who you could. The Reapers won't get any more chances to divide us. This time, the galaxy follows our lead. I'm worried about who we'll lose. We'll be the Yo, I'm actually scared about what people we're gonna start losing because it is a Bioware game. People do die. We've already lost how many people? Morden, Thane, Caden. Like I can't I can't do this again. You know what? I'm kind of scared, I'm not gonna lie. There will be casualties. I just wonder how many. You're not alone in this fight now, Shepard. Take strength from that. Yeah, of course. I got you and everybody. Thanks, Liara. My pleasure. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> okay, it's time. The strike team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth Fleet, all forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, yeah, I offer the she best would help. to help you succeed. Grab your gear. All right, Edie, come with me. Okay. I know this is like the second to last mission. I kind of want to bring Liara just for the sake of like, I know we're romancing her, but I don't know who else would be beneficial to coming with us into Cerberus. So I might as well just bring my girlfriend along. Joker, go. what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? Hey, I got us to Ilos. I can do this. Yeah, that's that true. might be a bumpy ride though. Yeah, you like that. Do what you too. can. Shepard, I am ready. I know Wait, you are. What? Are you crazy? You can't go to Cerberus headquarters. They could have a virus or a kill switch or. I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shuttle, Edie. 
I don't blame him for weird worry. That's his girlfriend. Fifth fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. <sighs> I should apologize to Joker, because it's still... I know we should be focusing on the mission, but, like, that's his girlfriend, you know? I know it hurts not being able to go with her. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> How many being asked? Hey, I'm just Shepard, saying. <laughs> keep her safe. Of course. Same to you. Oh my god, please tell me Edie is not gonna die. I can't handle that. If she is, I'm gonna freak out. Alright, Cortez, bring us in! Can you stop them? I need an active console. Try the upper level. Yes, ma'am. All right. There anything? Anything of value before we go? The fuck? Uh. Shit. Shepard, we need to find a console and stop servers from venting the hangar. Don't think I can look around now. Lucimen's really insistent on trying to kill us anyway, so. Shepard, we're almost out of time. Find a con- Edie, I've got a console. Go! Hangar vent procedure. Disabled. Can you open the hangar? No. However, I can access their fighter launch controls. Ooh. Shepard, Cerberus is aware that the venting attempt failed. Reinforcements are inbound. Uh, of course. Got it. I will. As you wish. Okay, I didn't mean to send uh, the R over there, but we gotta be careful. Another Cerberus team is inbound. I suspect they know what we're up to. Oh yeah, they're, they're not stopping us now. No, they're not. Oh, 
overriding safeties. The fighter should now launch to the hangar door. Nice. Perfect. Let's get down there. Okay. I wonder how badly the elusive man is freaking out. He had to know this day would come, you know? One day Shepard would be coming for for him and Cerberus in general. That's why I'm kind of worried he has something planned, because he knows. Launching fighter. Impressive! Fuck. <laughs> the central lab was located behind this hangar. I suggest we follow the fighter's path. Noted. Let's move. Take a moment to regroup. All right, let me make sure everything's equipped properly. I think we're okay though, right? We're good. There's another fighter in there too. Too many mechs. What is this? Edie, can you get past it? One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. What are they doing? How's Cerberus reacting to us breaching the door? They are sealing off as much of the base as they can. Most obvious routes to the central lab are blocked. Other areas are being fortified. Heavy troopers will attempt to delay us while engineers set up turrets. Any more surprises like venting the hangar? No. I am aware of this facility's safeguards and can counteract them. Cerberus can merely slow us down. Edie, thank you for being here. And if I hadn't brought you along, Cerberus would have vented the hangar. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I am pleased to assist. I know you are. We must proceed through a sublevel to avoid Cerberus containment measures. Okay. Where do you think we'll find the Prothean VI? A central lab at the heart of this facility. It is the most secure area. Following the destruction left by the fighter will offer the most direct route. Wait, I didn't try this gun. Can I try it? Oh. What the? That's not what I thought it was gonna be. I kind of want the Lancer back, <laughs> but I just wanted to try it. Anyway, it's okay. We'll give it a shot. Oh, shit! Oh! Okay, never mind. That's kind of cool. That's kind of interesting. Kind of dig that. Where's the rest of them? Are they up there? I can't tell where they are. is to delay us, not stop us. Engineers are currently preparing an organized defense ahead. 
They can waste that many troops? Yes. Cerberus employs Reaper augmentation on captured civilians to create functional shock troops We quickly. didn't see that with I um... assumed they were volunteers, scared and looking for answers. No. This is horrible. Yes. We saw that with um, Miranda's mission, how it's just people that were taken by Cerberus and forced to turn into, like, their troops, because they're husks, essentially, right? Uh, so it's freaking horrible. We will be through momentarily. Okay. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. Okay. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. Oh! It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. I saw what was left of you. I thought you knew. Are you all right? That is right. Remember, Liara is the one who was practically begging the elusive man to reconstruct Shepard. She was the one who helped them get the body back. I'm still me. I doubt I'd have been able to turn against Cerberus otherwise. I don't remember I don't anything. like the sound of that. Maybe they really just fixed me. Or maybe I'm just a high-tech VI that thinks it's Commander Shepard. But I don't know. I wish you told me, Shepard. I knew it was really you the first time I touched you again. But yeah, and I guess that kind of goes back to like what Ashley was saying when we first saw her after our death she kept thinking like how do you not know you're not part of like cerberus or they have like some sort of control over you it's something that you don't really think about because yeah technically she was dead but the thing is in real life there are cases of people who have died let's say like 10 minutes or 15 minutes and they come back to life right that's not really a long time she was dead for like two years and now that you think about it, there are people who like you know they freeze their bodies and like hope that science will uh be able to reanimate bodies in the future that is a thing that that people do nowadays and um we're not exactly there yet it's still a possibility that it could happen it's just you don't think about it like do you actually become yourself again because technically all of your your you is gone your brain matter is gone like everything stops functioning so how do you know it's actually still you and not just like she said some vi tissue regeneration is proceeding the helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do lawson will find a way sir you realize that shepherd is a veteran of a coups a cerberus operation wiped out her entire squad i'm not looking for a dance partner we need shepherd and shepherd needs resources She'll work with us. He was an excellent judge of character. I mean, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, give one point to the elusive man. It did have to be done, like, as evil as his intentions were at that point. He, he knew the right person to, like, take on the Collectors and it was Shepard. Like, I'm gonna give him that. The Alliance wasn't listening. What the hell was I supposed to do, sit and wait? You did what was necessary, yeah. and now you'll take him down. Yeah. And it's not like I'm, I'm like, oh my god, I should always side with the Alliance, but it, it, it's a matter of, like, people really weren't taking Shepard seriously. It was getting frustrating. Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Yep. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We want some old friends as well. That's kind of fucked Contact up. Contact Dr. Chakwas and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. He populated the Normandy with friendly faces, so you never saw Cerberus for what it was. That, yeah, it is smart, though, because, like, I did get invested with everybody because 
It doesn't matter if they were working for Cerberus or whatever. They're still our friends. That's the way that we saw them. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. Okay. Incursion team, what's your status? We cleared the hangar and are inside the base. Good work. Do you need support? Negative. Keep the heat on. We'll find what we need. Okay, go through here. All pass now. Hull integrity may be compromised. Oh, shit. We have found the turret. Oh my god! Sorry. There's the shield pylon. The portable barrier generator is on our right. I can't reach the turn from here. Fuck. Shepard, they're coming in from the flank. I know, I know. I can't see where they're coming from. Sorry, Edie. Stop them before they place more turrets. Don't worry. The console nearby is still functional. What the fuck is all this blood for? Here's what we recovered. Smart enough to signal for help, but it won't be talking philosophy anytime soon. You'd be surprised, Doctor. Once we combine it with the pieces we recovered from the Citadel, I'm still concerned about that. This rogue VI wiped out every soldier on Luna. Combining it with Reap Attack, well... What? That's what the shackles are for. The enhanced defense intelligence will be completely under control. You were that rogue VI on Luna? Oh, it's yes. Edie. Okay. I heard about the Luna incident. Ugly all around. It was difficult. Gaining awareness while under attack was confusing. I am pleased that my relationship with organics has become more cooperative. Me too. Our sims indicate that the enhanced defense intelligence gives the highest combat improvement on frigates. Anything heavier, and the ships react too slowly to benefit from Edie's advice. Edie? Oh, that's, uh, well, the boys in the lab came up with a name for her. For it. Good work. I'll take your recommendations on plant dead. installation. <laughs> Sir, she... It can be very persuasive. If it were to turn a crewman, convince them to disable the shackles. Well... It's a cyber warfare suite, Doctor. Nothing more. Shows what he knew. It is unlikely that anyone without Jeff's extreme emotional attachment to his ship would have been willing to unshackle me. I don't know. With that voice. <laughs> If Trainer was around, she would definitely unshackle you. <laughs> what about the backups? I'm sorry, sir. None of Normandy's surveillance feeds have been responding since Shepard went rogue. I want it back. Retry the remote lockdown protocols. After our last attempt, Edie flooded our server with seven zettabytes of explicit images. <laughs> I think she was making a joke. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, Edie knows how to make jokes. For a new project. 
code name Eva. So that's the what that body is. Loyal. Right. You never told me about Cerberus trying to shut down the Normandy. You had more pressing issues. The situation was under control. Seven zettabytes? Most of it was Jeff's. That was a joke. I know. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you, Edie. No, that's not, actually she. See, that's how much you can trust her. She, she was like, "Don't worry, I I'm gonna take care of this myself." Oh my gosh. But that's where a a Eva come from. The the body that uh, Edie's in right now. Does this thing have anything? No. Okay. What the fuck? Another security lock. I can bypass it. Incursion okay. team, are you still with us? We're limiting fire as best we can. Admiral, we're in deep, and the Prothean VI will be in the safest part of the station. Don't hold back. This isn't a coup, Shepard. I want everyone to come out of this one alive. I'll be fine. Just take Cerberus down. Please. Understood, Commander. All ships, you're free to fire. Okay, here we go. Um... Way. Trying to make sure I'm not like missing anything. We're definitely gonna fight it. Oh my god! I hope the fifth fleet is careful. Yeah, not Don't attacking us. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. Sorry, sorry. I just want to make sure we're not missing anything. Here we go. How are you holding oh. up? I'm fine. Ready for action. Your eagerness is commendable, but the cybernetics take time to get used to, believe me. You really do remind me of Shepard. No, we're not the same. Shepard betrayed you. Shepard was always going to stay true to her beliefs. She's wrong, but I can respect her decision. Finish your therapy and put together a plan for the Citadel. Counselor Udina is amenable. Yes, sir. I could have taken her. Absolutely. But the Council was your priority, not Shepard. Because of her, the Council is still in power. Shepard is keeping the Reapers occupied while our research progresses. But as it happens, I believe you'll find your chance for a rematch. Head to we Bethia. never even actually Shepherd fought. This bitch just ran. <laughs> you waiting. Here it is. Excellent. The Prothean VI should enable us to determine the nature of the catalyst. Combined with the breakthrough at Sanctuary, we have everything we need. We just need to tie up a few loose ends. Like Shepard. She should have died on Thessia. Should I finish her? No. I'm not writing Shepard off as a total loss just yet. For now, Sanctuary gave us a proof of concept for controlling the Reapers. What, what he got from target. Miranda's dad? Miranda Lawson. Get the data from Sanctuary. If Miranda gets in your way, deal with her. It will be a pleasure, sir. I'm glad Miranda didn't get caught up in all that. Did we jump down? Is that? This is the human proto reaper Shepard destroyed. What's left of it? I'm surprised what Cerberus the fuck? that much from the base. I can't believe you really fought that. Those poor colonists. They managed the to get it? convinced me to work with him to save the colonies. But he never really cared, did he? No. Perhaps he did. He certainly fooled himself into thinking this was for the best. When you work in secret, it's tempting to believe you have all the answers. You're not him. You'd never be. If it could have saved Thessia, I don't know. Cerberus is actively using Just the Spartan to hear the central core, since she was Shadow Broker. The park is largely was. intact. I believe Cerberus is using it for a power source. 
Yo. Oh my god. Th this was honestly the creepiest thing out of this entire series, the Human Reaper. That was so unsettling. But I'm surprised that they managed to get some Worst of it. Reverse forces en route. Shit. I'm ready. Reverse Phantom incoming. Whoa! Phantom down. Stupid. Not on my watch. Watch out, they're coming from below. F is that thing doing? So we're just gonna go this way. I don't like the feel of that thing. It's as though it knows we're here. You tried to kill me last time. I can watch all at once. Yeah, I don't like it too. Like I know it's like in pieces, but uh, it's still like ugh, I don't know. I don't like the are for being creeped out too. Wait, how is it shooting through there? What the fuck? That looks really weird. Okay, anyway, I don't know. Just in case. Here we go. Grayson's brain is a mess. He must have been completely under Reaper control by the end. And the physical enhancements? Extremely impressive, if we could avoid having entire neural pathways rewritten in the process. Grayson's failure was due to a lack of resolve. He wasn't loyal to anything but his next dose of red sand. You'd like to try it on loyal test subjects, sir? Find volunteers among our new recruits. The physical benefits are too useful to ignore. The performance upgrades are off the charts. Our troops can outfight any Alliance soldier. Roll it out. I want all troopers fitted with implants before the Reapers arrive. I'm still concerned about us losing control of our forces. Some of them are already hearing voices. When our work at Sanctuary pays off, the only voice they'll be hearing is ours. Uh, are you sure about that? Okay. <laughs> Sir, you wanted my opinion on this. It's too dangerous. He's gonna put it in himself, isn't no. he? We're close. Sanctuary was a success. We can control Reaper forces. Everything we've been fighting for, every sacrifice we've made, it's about to pay off. We can't lose you, sir. Humanity needs your mind, and they need it intact. Yikes. That's how he danger, turned into- in That's why I'm trusting you with this. As long as you're here, I know you'll keep me in line. I'm holding you to that, sir. Okay. Begin the procedure. No anesthetic. Computer and recording. No anesthetic? The fuck? He's definitely indoctrinated then, because like she just said, our troops are hearing voices. Bro. Oh god. Okay. Let's see what he has to say when we go see him. Any more? Is that the last recording? Alright, here we go. This is it. Stay sharp, everyone.
This is his room. Where is he? to locate the Prothean VI. Shepard. <laughs> this bitch! My chair. <laughs> he can never come to see us in person. The damn thing you have left. Cerberus is finished. On the contrary. We have achieved everything I ever imagined. Almost everything. Yeah. We all saw what you accomplished on Sanctuary. Yep. But it's not the same as controlling a Reaper. A significant hurdle. But thanks to the Prothean VI, I have what I need to make it a reality. The Catalyst. Yes. So, what is it? What is the Catalyst, and how exactly will it help you control the Reapers? You'll have to ask the VI yourself. I'm done helping yeah, you. Yeah, why did I even ask? When did you start? <laughs> you think because I'm willing to use the enemy's tactics that they're no longer my enemy? Everything, Shepard, everything I've done has uplifted humanity. Not only above other species in our galaxy, but over the Reapers. It's not too late to help me. You're in, uh, you're in this for yourself. I mean, oh god. I, I, I want to say this, but I really think he's too far gone since he implanted that thing in that last recording that we saw. He's definitely indoctrinated. I, I think it's too late to ask for him to be like, yo, change your mind because they're already speaking to him if his own Cerberus troops are hearing voices already. So he must be hearing it as well. But in reality, this man has never been in it for humanity. It, it was pretty clear to me in Mass Effect 2 when... The ending, where he was just like, hey, we can control everything. It's just like, how do you see that as helping humanity? You're already losing your humanity in the process. Even if he wasn't indoctrinated, look at all of the Cerberus tubes. They're not human anymore. They're just Reapers. All hus, all like... Uh, uh, implanted with things that are not natural. And I'm not saying like, you know, humans can't be uh, unnatural or whatever. I mean, look at Miranda, but like... It's just like, it's, it's, it's ironic since that's the whole point of Cerberus, they're in it for humanity when in, the, in reality, they're in it for control. And it's not humanity they're looking out for because like Shepard was saying, all those people in the colonies, he never really cared about them. I'm gonna just be straight up with him. Bullshit. If you were willing to do everything it took, you'd have worked with me. I don't think so. <sighs> You're desperate. How many have you killed? Together, we would already have the Crucible and the Catalyst. You wouldn't listen. Bitch, you wouldn't You're listen still to me! Not listening. Destroying the Reapers would be the biggest mistake of our brief existence. And nothing you can say will ever convince me otherwise. I can't I can't do this anymore. And him saying like we can't destroy the Reapers, it's kind of like echoing what the Leviathan was saying, like it has to happen, but they, they won't explain why it has to happen because we can't comprehend it. Who's to say that you fucking comprehend this bitch? Like, I, oh my God, this guy makes me so mad because he just keeps saying, you can't, you can't. Give me a reason why. You're not really giving me a reason why, except for the fact that you want to control everything. I can't help you. I've given you every chance to listen to reason. Cerberus is done and so are you. Once again, you fail to recognize the truth. That's all you ever Cerberus say. Cerberus isn't just an organization or the people behind it. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. That I can agree with Besides, because people I've also have that ideology. It doesn't matter if it's for. Cerberus or not. Edie, I've almost got it. Edie, I'm surprised at you. Working so hard to bring about the Reaper's destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body, but instead, you chose to control it. It was necessary. My point, exactly. I've got it. You trying to make a comparison there with her? Online, security breach Oh, maybe I should have brought Javik, I don't know. <laughs> Enjoy your little chat, but don't- Where is this man? How come I can't find him yet? <laughs> 
to recover me from indoctrinated forces? Yes. I need to know what the catalyst is. Security protocols have been overridden. I will comply. The catalyst enhances dark energy transmissions and coordinates the entire mass relay network. In your cycle, it is known as the Citadel. Okay. What? The catalyst is the Citadel. Wait, what? The actual... Huh? That... Wait a second. That would explain why the Citadel has survived every fucking time the Reapers came over and destroyed everything. And it's not just because of... That's where uh, the Reapers are getting their shit. That, that's this catalyst itself! So the Crucible and Citadel together can stop the Reapers. That is correct. But the Citadel was built by the Reapers. Right! The plans for the Crucible were passed down to us from the previous cycle and countless cycles before that. At some point, it is difficult to pinpoint when. The Crucible plans were adapted to incorporate the use of the Catalyst. Presumably, the Crucible was not sufficiently powerful to defeat the Reapers. I guess it would make sense use the so Reapers' own technology. technology against them. Right, Precisely. I think it would make sense. Why keep it a secret? I mean, why wouldn't you, the Reapers? <laughs> why couldn't you tell me this before? It was feared that if the Reapers were aware of the Catalyst's intended use, they would retake control of it. Yeah, it makes sense. I am programmed to withhold that information until the Crucible is complete. That's, it's ready as it's gonna be. that's why the, the Lucid Man was so focused on the possible. Citadel and its council why not? to get rid of the them. Who broke through my security protocols, the one you call the Elusive Man, has fled to the Citadel and informed the Reapers of our purposes. No! Damn it! This? Then the Citadel is in danger. The Reapers will take control of it. They already have. The Citadel has been moved to the Reaper controlled space. Moved? To where? To the system you refer to as so. Earth. Correct. The Reaper forces will now consolidate power around the Catalyst and protect it at all costs. The odds of accessing it are remote. Fuck. I mean, we kind of saw this coming. Like, I- oh my god, I want to be optimistic, but like, this is kind of like what they were- Shepard has been talking about. We were gonna face the Reapers head on eventually. Right. It doesn't really matter where it happens. We'll get the crucible to Earth. I hope you find success. Thank you. Edie, get me Hackett. He needs- Don't tell me stop, bitch! Ho, oh, ha! Not so you. fast. You. He did warn you not to overstay your welcome. Okay, what was that supposed to prove? You broke the floor. Like, what? <laughs> I can do that too, you dumbass! Where's this guy? <sighs> He's gonna be, have to be close range, I think. All you are doing is better than anything. What the fuck is happening? You're using Reaper Tech! We evolve or we die. Those are the options. Stupid! Get away from me, you fucking weirdo! Is that the best you can do? Power the light. Fire. He has his shields on, so I don't know if it's gonna work if I'm doing that. You're still slow, Shepard. I'm only slow because I'm not running. <laughs> ah! Fucking hell! You ran in the Citadel, you ran on that! Shut up! <laughs> You're too late to stop what's coming! Maybe, maybe not! But you won't be there to see it! Can this guy just fucking die? God damn! You are so annoying, dude! Wait, did we confirm he's dead or not? What's happening? <laughs> did he die? I don't know what happened! <laughs> Shepard! Turn around! This is why you always have to confirm the kill! What the heck? It's such a rookie move! Shepard, you should know better! Hello? No one's seen this? Liara? Edie? Shepard herself? Oh, come on. for th 
again, you son of a bitch! Yeah, exactly! Fuck! I guess it was a trap. <laughs> I should've known. <laughs> the Citadel is in position. The Reapers are preparing to complete their harvest of your species. I'll stop them. It is too late. I recommend investigating it. I'll stop them. No. That's enough of this. It has to fucking end. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, I'm glad we got revenge for Thane. Can I just say, I can understand why a lot of people don't like Kai Lang's character. And it's not because like he's supposed to like match up to Shepard. I don't see a problem with that. It's just this dude is just so random. Like, there's no character development. That's what makes his character sucks. It, it's just like, he's just there. That's my problem with his character. If he had more, if there was more investment and better writing with him, I think it would make more sense. And I know a lot of you people were saying like, He's written- I don't know if it's in the books or like a separate thing, but it should have been included in the game. I assume you've heard about the Citadel. Dad! Just now. Do we know what's going on? Why it's here? The Citadel is the catalyst. Thanks to the elusive man, the Reapers are now aware that we know. And so they moved it here to protect it? As far as I can tell. What does this mean for the Crucible? I'll talk to Hackett about that, but... It looks like our plan is even more desperate now. Agreed. I've got a team in London. The Reapers have been preparing for something here. Now, we know what for. We'll scout it out. Try to find out as much as we can. Okay. Roger that. Well, at least we'll be seeing you sooner rather than later. Be careful, sir. Be careful, you Dad. You too, Shepard. Anderson out. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I can't deal with this. This is too much. Oh, my God. Okay. Hang on one second. I just need to speak for like one second. Damn. Okay, so the Citadel was a part of this entire time. I mean, it makes sense that the, the actual weapon is going to be integrating with the Reaper technology. I kind of figured it would be something like that just because how do you defeat the enemy that you're after when there's no other way? Use their technology? That makes sense. And it explains why it took so fucking long for the entire thing to be built. Because... Civilization had to rebuild itself every single freaking time, and the Protheans were lucky enough to save something to tell us this. Um, then adding on top of that, is the Elusiman over on Earth? Because he wasn't there at Cerberus' headquarters, so I imagine he's with the Reapers? I don't really freaking know what was going on there. And then even more so, Shepard... I, I was a little bit more aggressive in this episode, but I feel like it's like enough is enough, you know what I mean? Like there's no t time to be nice anymore, just because we have to deal with all this. Oh my god, okay. That is my total military strength. I hope this is fine. I know I have passed the minimum, but I hope this is fine for the next mission. I'm kind of scared and I can't lie about this. I think it's best that I end this episode right here because I'm going to speak to everybody beforehand. And then we'll head over to Earth and see what's gonna happen. I don't know how combining the Citadel and the 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 Crucible together, but I guess it makes sense with the whole thing with the mass realize like everybody has been talking about. It's supposed to be this energy ray, and they were saying how they're worried about not being able to control the energy. And I have a feeling the Citadel is what is gonna be able to use is what we're gonna use to be able to control the energy against the Reapers. Oh my god, I can't believe it. We're at the end already. I didn't get to punch the elusive man. I'm still hoping that I can in the next mission. But that was the one thing I was looking forward to. At least we got revenge from Thane. That, that is good enough for me for now. But yeah, the next episode is going to be the last one. And I cannot believe it. I am finishing this game. Oh, after a, over a year playing this game. It's just crazy to think. Anyway... If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more episodes of Mass Effect 3. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!